Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So the number one customization question I get over and over again is how to make my E-Zone 98 into a 98 tour. I'm going to do that for you right now. Stay tuned. All right, so coffee sponsor of today is Coach Ray. Coach Ray writes, hello from London, England. Big fan of the channel. Keep up the great work. We need a shop like yours in London. My question for today is finding a new racket. I've been using a Pro Staff 97 LS in the 18 by 16 string pattern, which is hard to find these days and very popular over here. I believe they are a decathlon exclusive in the UK. What would you recommend changing to? Similar weight, which is 290 to 300 grams and a stiffness of 67 RA. Whew. That's a tough question. I've been actually trying to tackle that question from some of my own customers here. It's difficult because of that string pattern and that it's light and that it's a semi player's racket. Um, I've been kind of steering people into that new Pro Staff 97L, but I mean, it's kind of like you have to just settle for it because there aren't many rackets that give you that open string pattern um, on the market these days. <sighs> yeah, that's a tough one. Um, I mean, if you can get it at the decathlon store, uh, I would just keep buying them there or look into the secondary market for more because that is, you know, the unicorn <laughs> of... Uh, light spin um, semi players rackets. So it, difficult, yeah, difficult question there. Uh, but thank you for the coffee. And I've been watching The Crown. I just finished that fifth season. It was great, guys. So uh, thank you, Coach Ray, for today's coffee. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buy me a coffee dot com forward slash tennis spin thank you all in advance for the joe if you want to support the channel super thanks is the way link is below all right i appreciate you as coach lasso says as coach lasso says all right so number one question that everybody asked me how do I make my Yonex E-Zone 98 into a E-Zone 98 tour? Ever since that tour came out, everybody's been wanting the extra weight. <laughs> so what I did was I had to do some research before doing this video. I wanted to make sure of a couple things. First off, that we know they're both 98, they're both 27 inches, but I wanted to see the beam. The beam is the same. I wanted to make sure that the tour wasn't thicker or thinner than the regular. So looking at everything being equal, the only thing different is the balance point and the weight itself. So balance point actually affects the swing weight too. So after maybe an hour of tinkering, I figured out the best way to go about this. I originally thought that, you know, with most rackets, you load up the handle because the heavier ones are usually in the head. But is not correct. It's the opposite. So the lighter ones, they're loaded in the head. So if you wanted to make a lighter one heavier, you put the lead in the thing. 
right? That's what you usually do. When you get up to a certain weight in the racket, they don't do that. So it's actually the opposite in this particular racket. So what I did was I took two rackets with the same grip size, 3 8 and 3 8 and I started to first take a base weight and balance and swing weight of the tour, do the same thing with the regular, and then I started messing with the lead. So as you see, I taped the lead to here, the top, the other side, and then the throat to get what I needed to test. So I've done a bunch of different weights, you know, like, so here's what I did, guys. I took the scale out, I measured the difference in the weight, and I had to figure out where to put that weight. And moving it around the racket, you know, having it all at the top first, didn't work, it threw off the swing weight, so I started piecing it up, and this is what I came out to with it being equal to this particular 98 Tor. So let's go to the machine, let's go to the scale, and I'll show you how close I got. All right, so we're at the scale. So I'm just going to go one after the other. I'm going to show you. So 98 tour with the placard on. 330. Yeah. 3.30. So that part wasn't hard. All I did was just take the difference in the two and brought in the weight. Now, this part was a little harder. Move this back. Well, actually, no, no, this part wasn't that hard. The swing weight was actually the hardest. Ah, falling off. So 333, 329.5 right in there somewhere. 329.5 to 330. You fell off. <laughs> yeah. Let's move it over so you can see. Right, right there. Now, the swing weight is the hardest one. This is where I had to tweak a lot. Move it back over. Three forty one. Again, the placard is on because I didn't want to ruin some rackets so fast. I didn't want to take off the placard. Three forty one. So I'm gonna show you now what I did and where I put it, okay? All right, so the way I put the tape in is obviously not gonna be the final product, okay? I didn't wanna, there's a lead shortage out there, so I'm gonna have to reuse this lead because uh, I can't buy it anymore currently or else I would have just wasted it. But, so here's the deal, guys. On the top, okay, on the top, 
just a little less than four inches is what you need. Look, it's one, two, maybe three lines from that four inch marker. So I'm going to point it to you. Okay. That's what you need. Okay. And then you center it right at the top, right where it says isometric, right? Isometric, where the C starts, where you are, okay? One whole grommet and then a half a grommet is where you start on this side. On the other side, where the I is, go one whole grommet and a half is where you end, okay? So we're going to go half quarter inch here, quarter inch here, okay, on both sides. Now, on this side, on the sides, we're going to need right where the head guard, right where the head guard, right where the head guard actually begins, okay? So that makes it easier. And then go down. I'm going to turn it around for you guys to look, but I got to make sure I measure this first. Just below seven and a half. One line below seven and a half. Okay, you see that? So seven and a half inches on this side, and then the same on the other, okay? Starting right at the head guard, going down this side. Half excuse me, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch strip all the way down. Just like Djokovic, okay? This side, the same thing. Now, on the throat area in the middle bar, this is pretty much just going to cover the whole thing. Four inches on the dot. So what we're going to do is go quarter inch, quarter inch, and that should do it. That should make your E-Zone 98 into the same weight, balance, and swing weight as the E-Zone 98 Tour, okay? So just follow these simple instructions because I already did the hard work and you should have what you want in the E-Zone, in the E-Zone 98 Tour. All right. So hopefully everybody gets their brand new E-Zone 98 Tour customized by you. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Well, this could be it, Harry. Oh, Harry, great contact. Now, the idea, Harry, is we need it to land in the blue. I know you're kind of starting out here. Let's try it again, Harry. Somewhere in the blue space on the other side of the net. Um, Harry, that's a great shot. I think you even hit it on the blue on court three, Harry. It's okay. I, I didn't really specifically say our court. I just said blue. So job well done. Let's try again. Keep it in our space on our court. So it says number one. Here we go, Harry. Give it a shot. Oh, Harry. No, I didn't say hit the number one. Want a coach with positive energy like Coach Rob? Find what your game is looking for at playyourcourt.com. Oh, Harry, you swung and missed. I bet you can watch the ball a little longer. Try to keep your head still. Oh, Harry. Nice try.